Hi everyone. Here we are showing you guys some prompting examples to help you understand the content better. The first example we want to show you guys is grammar correction. As we know, language models are trained on millions of text, and language models are very good at grammar. So if we give it a sentence, Anna and Mike is going to skiing, we know it's in grammatically incorrect. So we asked it to correct this to standard English. And the model is able to do it very well. And it will challenge a lot of traditional grammar check website, like Grammarly is a popular one. And people are actually using ChatGPT, this kind of product to help their grammar or make their uh, articles more fluent. Second example is summarization. So we give the model uh, abstract of an article about large language models. Um, so this abstract is actually from the paper uh, from Stanford, Benchmarking Large Language Models for New Summarization. This paper actually shows um, large language models have on par performance compared to humans in news article summarization. So we give it to a chat GPT model and ask it what is the main idea of the article. And the model is able to say the main idea of the article is to evaluate the performance of large language models in automatic summarization and make two important observations about instruction tuning and low quality reference in existing studies. The article also finds that language models can produce summaries of quality comparable to human written summaries. So you can see that really helps human understand a big chunk of text in a short amount of time. And the third um, example we want to show is style transfer. Um, before we give um, the model what we wanted to convert uh, the style, uh, we give it a few short examples. Um, like um, here is some text next to path, rewriting about France, and then rewrite um, it to be more flowery for the, the bell rings. So it writes to the pearls of the jangling bell. So we show it a few examples of, you know, follow the instruction to convert to kind of some kind of style. And then in the end, we ask the model um, to convert this public policy argument into the style of Kenya West. We say we should increase the government tax rate on profit earned from the sale of stocks, bonds, and the real estate. And it will say, the model will output this, right? Say, y'all need to bump up the tax on these stocks, bonds, and real estate profits. You'll know what I'm talking about, which is very interesting um, style transfer result. Um, and we, this uh, few short examples, we actually use it from uh, the paper, a recipe for re arbitrary tax style transfer with large language models. And this is um, a, one of the very first paper to e e explore a style transfer in large language models. Um, and they call it uh, augmented zero shot uh, examples. And the fourth example I'm showing here, it's uh, let's think step by step. Uh, if we give the model a relatively complex um, task, uh, like a math task, here we say a jungler can jungle 16 balls. Half of them are golf, half of the golf are blue. Uh, how many blue golf balls are there? Uh, if you just ask model the question, it's going to give you the wrong answer. It says uh, eight blue golf balls. However, if you just add this magic spell, let's think step by step, the model is able to break this down to a few steps, right? The half the ball uh, are golf balls, there are eight, and half of the eight are uh, blue. So, and it derived the answer, there are blue, uh, four blue golf balls. And this is very interesting observation. And people have shown this consistently that um, leading models to think uh, step by step, it's able to boost their performance in symbolic reasoning. And this example we show here, we also call it zero shot and chain of thought. And we uh, use the example from the paper, large language models as zero shot reasoners. The last example is um, the joke explanation. Language models not able to just understand, you know, some logic, uh, language, grammar, is also able to understand some pragmatics um, um, 
perspective of the model uh, of the language. For example, uh, if you give it a kind of a joke, did you see the Google just hired eloquent well for the TPU team? It showed them how to communicate between two different parts. So this example that actually uh, uses a very interesting uh, word part. Uh, it means a group of TPUs, but also means a group of wells. And joke is, you know, pointing out the well is able to com communicate between two groups of wells, which is kind of uh, funny. Um, and I will pause there and then encourage you guys to explore some prompts uh, that you find interesting and see whether uh, language models are able um, to give you good results.